Buried a thousand meters below a mountain in central Honshu is a tank holding 50,000 tons of ultra-pure water, and its only job is to sit there silently, waiting for a flash of light. This is Super Kamiokande. See, some things in particle physics are rare. Really rare. So rare, we don't actually know if they happen. Like, at all. And Super Kamiokande was built to try to detect potentially these rarest of events. Proton decay. But it's not just speculation. In the 70s and 80s, guts were all the rage. Grand unified theories, that is. These are theories that try to unify the three quantum forces into one. And one of the most common features of these theories is that they predict that protons, those stablest of subatomic particles in the cores of atoms, would eventually decay into, for example, a positron and two photons. So they built Kamiokande, the Kamioka Nucleon Decay Experiment, and then its bigger sibling, Super Kamiokande, to detect it. And the way it works is actually pretty simple. If proton decay is super rare, you have a better chance of seeing it happen if you have lots of protons. The trouble is, if you have lots of protons, like in a block of metal, if a proton decays in the middle, you won't be able to see it. So you need lots of protons in something clear. Now, you could use glass, but that's heavy and expensive. But water is everywhere. So that's what they used. They found an old mineshaft under a mountain and built a huge water tank. The only thing else they needed was a way to detect the flashes of light. So they lined the whole thing with thousands of photomultiplier tubes and waited. And they never saw a proton decay. Not a single one. In fact, it's possible protons just don't decay. Their data constrained the lifetime of a single proton to be longer than 10 to the 34 years. But that doesn't mean Super Kamiokande was and is useless. It's been a spectacularly effective neutrino detector, which, in fact, provided some of the first evidence for neutrino oscillations. But that's a story for another time.